definitely is 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 going to change because the propulsion uh, techniques uh, are going to change, and that's primarily, as I said earlier in my opening remarks, uh, that uh, you know both India and China want to get away from the hegemony of the global car makers who control the technology and the investment. With uh, with electric power plants, you can do away with both. Uh, uh, because you know uh, the batteries are made in a generic manner and motors are made in a generic manner so you have special suppliers who will supply you the components as and when you want and it's, it doesn't require that kind of heavy investments like a, a engine uh, like an IC engine that requires in the, in the car and that's one that's one reason uh, I think the, the more important reason is the CO2 emissions uh, of the electric being zero. The governments are, uh, you know, favoring that, giving uh, better taxation benefits because obviously they they, they don't want their cities to be smog. Uh, I remember about five years back uh, there were there was a lot of uh, there were a lot of news reports uh, of Beijing and Shanghai, you know, covered with smog, and a lot of expatriate managers actually left. Uh, China, not to, they didn't want to be posted there, and that's exactly what happened in Delhi. I have my uh, operations uh, in Delhi as well, and that's that's exactly what's happening there as well. So obviously, to overcome that, uh, the manufacturers uh, have also sorry, the government has stipulated that you need to go towards electric power. Some of your some of your students or some of you might question the fact that are we moving the emissions from the tailpipe to the power plants? Uh, yes, we are. I mean, in the short term, we are. Still, those power, still those power is generated through renewable means, sun, uh, through solar power and through wind power, which is happening, uh, happening quite fast, actually. And then, of course, we'll be out of that uh, uh, orbit of, you know, the vicious circle of, uh, of power generation through coal and therefore being, pol being polluted and, being, and all that. So, the... The whole nature of the car is undergoing a change. Uh, it's gone a bit. It's gone through a big change in China because the government had huge subsidies uh, to offer to manufacturers. For example, if I have a business plan on uh, on paper and I go to the government in China and say I want to produce an electric car, there are good chances I might get a billion dollars from the government. But China is a rich country, so they can afford to do all that. And they, in fact, they have become the world's largest manufacturer of electric cars, whereas 10 years back it was supposed to be the United States. And actually China has overtaken the United States, both in terms of the total vehicles manufacturing China.